Hello YouTubers. I'm going to try something a little different today. I haven't tried before. Um, and I did. I, I, I got started on this and then I thought I should really film this. So this is like a take two basically. Um, somebody suggested in the comments on one of my videos for processing IC chips for gold that I should um, take the legs off. And I complained, well, I've got too many IC chips for that. Call, taking the legs off all these mechanically would be way too labor-intensive. And he said, well, why don't you just soak them in the used AP solution for a while? And I thought, hmm, that makes a lot of sense. Maybe I'll try that. So I've got a couple pounds of mixed IC chips here. And I've got some used AP solution. I used this for um, processing a bunch of fingers a while back. But it should still be, should still be good. It should have a lot of life left in it. I can always, you know, hit it with a little extra... Hydrogen or uh, hydrochloric acid and a little extra um, peroxide just to uh, beef it up, but it'll probably work just fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chips in this container and I'm going to um, dump the AP solution out. First, I'm going to put a bubbler in the bottom, an air bubbler, and that's just to keep the the solution moving around all the way on the bottom, so it doesn't stagnate because Without the bubbler, the solution will stagnate down in the bottom, and you won't get good uh, good you won't get good circulation, and the stuff at the bottom won't get processed. So, okay, I got the bubbler in, put all the chips in, a couple pounds worth of chips in there. I really ought to be wearing gloves, but you know, oh well. I'll put a little extra in, just in case I find some other IC chips to drop in there. I've probably got some more laying around. I plug the bubbler in. Okay. And there we go. And I will just let this sit for a week, ten days, two weeks, whatever. And we'll see if uh, the legs on the ICs get uh, dissolved off. Because the less uh, the less base metal that goes that goes into the processing of the ICs, the better. The less I'm going to have to sift out, dissolve out, whatever, and the less residue will be left behind. So uh, I'm going to give this a try, and I'm not in any hurry. I wasn't planning on processing these chips for a while, so if they're in there for a couple weeks, that's fine. And uh, we'll see what we get. And uh, once I have a result, I will film the second half of this video. So, back in a bit. All right, it's been about three weeks since I started this. I didn't intend to let it go on this long, but, you know, the Christmas holidays have come through. It's almost New Year's, and uh, busy, busy. Had uh, lots of people over for the holidays, some staying here for the holidays. So we're just crazy busy and no time to work on this. And the sun just came out after being cloudy all this time, and... Well, that kind of screws things up on the lighting. Anyway, um, so it's time to have a look at this and see how we did. I'm going to turn off the bubbler. Okay, there's the bubbler turned off. And I'm going to pour off some of this liquid and see what the chips look like. Now that liquid is almost black. Remember, I started out with some spent, well, not quite spent, but used AP solution that I had used for getting fingers off, gold fingers off. Now, that's very interesting. Well, let me get the camera and get you a close-up shot of what I'm seeing in there. I hope it shows up. I see no pins on any of those chips. The pins are completely gone. So that's great. The legs are gone, the pins are gone, whatever you want to call them. I mean, look at that. Completely gone. I'm not sure how far into the package they've been dissolved away, but it looks like a heat sink there got dissolved away 
and another one there. So that's that's wonderful. That's going to be a lot less uh, base metal to process. Let me stir it up a little bit here and have a look. Yeah, no legs. All right. So when I incinerate and crush these, there should be a lot less base metal to deal with. That's excellent. All right. Well, thanks to um, whoever gave me that tip. I'll put your name down in the comments section, probably. Um, thank you very much for that tip. So this is a great tip for anybody who's processing IC chips for the gold they contain. You know, let them soak in AP solution for a few weeks, and the legs are all gone. And that's a lot less metal you have to deal with. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.